hello good day and welcome to another episode of our youtube video please like and follow subscribe to all our youtube channels and all our social media platforms today we are going to be looking at how to configure an ippbx phone with the controller firstly we are going to be looking at what is needed so or what we are going to use so first of all we are going to need our phones that's the ip phones the controller the switch and our computer there are different products and today in the market but today we are going to be looking at or using the grand stream um we need a major information from the ip pbx controller which is our ip address and our password so this is the ip address of our controller you are going to screw down and check inside your ip abs controller to get the ip address and also your password so we are about to log in now after putting the ip address enter we we'll log in through the ip address putting the default password on the system here we are so i usually create a, a note pad on my computer so i can just write on my password that i'm going to use in order not to make mistakes so here i'm going to put my password on the new password now so and um, i will i'm re enter so you input the old password and the new password you want to use. Yeah, so you can use any other email address this is my own email so um, you are going to use your own email address so so and um, we we'll click on next um, here basically I have nothing to do here so you still will click on next again so here this the setup wizard we are going to be changing the time zone here in Nigeria we use plus one GMT so using plus one and set the date and the time then um, next uh, the extension here is uh, the number that the phones are going to carry starting we will still move on this trunk we are going to be looking into that in our next video so keep following us we will see more and then you save so after you save this system is going to reload and then log you out and bring back the interface for you to re enter your password that's your new password and you remember after we logged in with the former password uh, we put another new password uh, that's to change the previous password to a new one so we are going to put down the new password and uh, we logged in again so yes we are we are we are logged in so we are going to move to to the dashboard and then to value added features you see it at the bottom uh, close to the bottom end yes close to the bottom end value added features then to zero config so once you click the zero config you are going to be seeing the two phones available that the two phone now that is connected to the controller 
so you click the number one um, then edit go to edit so um, here we are going to be choosing and the model of the phone that we want to use or that we are using so and then you click on account one and then you can change the number if you want to then but we just leave you click on line one and we are going to click on update so it give you this notification you just okay it and move to the next phone again and so that's how you continue doing in case you are working on a multiple phones so here we will still put the same model because we are using the same type of phone automatically redirect you to the interface where you can access the phones individually here you put the password of that's the former password you're going to put the former password now you are going to put the former password of the phone and then you put new password of the phone you put you're going to put a new password that the phone is going to carry then okay we have um, password successful um, okay after logging in you go to account here you can put the account name here maybe your company name or the company you want to configure for now you can go to account and then uh, you fill all these information you have the account name okay now this is, should be the owner or let me say the user of this very phone so but since we are still on practical we can just uh, leave it as same um, number that the phone is carrying so um, the SIP should be the IP address of the server that's the IP address of the controller you are going to impute it and then SIP user ID the SIP user ID uh, should be 1000 uh, because that is the number we, that we have assigned to that particular phone and so authentication password this the authentication password now we have to go back to data of the interface of the server talking about the controller so go to extension under extension you go to edit so you are going to see SIP IEX password you copy you copy it and then you go back to the account where 
of the phone where you can paste it so you paste the password and steal the name that's the username So you save and apply um, if you go back you're going to see that uh, the phone has been configured so uh, what you need to do next is just to do or apply the same setting to the next phone yes so because we have two phone on it so we are going to load the second phone if you have the IP address you can equally just get the IP address of the second phone and and then tie it on your web browser to give you the logged in change the IP address and sorry change the password login after logging in you change the password and put your new password and then you still move to the setup the settings where you can still put the so we are setting the second phone now account name this will be 101 now because the other one is holding and carrying 100 that's 1000 this is 101 the server IP is still same. We're still going to give the same password that the controller is having. I'm mean, sorry. We are still going to give the same IP address that the controller is carrying. Then the SIP user, same as we did it. We are still going to go back to the controller interface and get the password. so edit copy and paste The name should be any holder holding the phone but since let's just still use it and then um, we're going to apply or save um, I think uh, that is all for registering the phones so what we need to do now is to go back to our phone um, sorry now what you need to do now is to go back to the extension extension then you can see now on our extension we have these two phones showing idle idle but they are connected you can see the green is indicating green so what we are going to do now uh, we are going to be dialing the number that is 101 and uh, 1000 now we are going to be dialing 100 to see the ring out and there's uh, you can see it's ringing you can see the interface you can see there is hung ringing you can see 101 calling 100 and if I do the same thing to you will still you're still going to see it
1000 dial in 101 thank you for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel please for further information don't hesitate to reach us on our phone lines displaying on the screen thank you see you next time